This footage is being shot on the Blackmagic Cinema Camera 6K full frame with the new autofocus update. Hopefully it's tracking my face. It's also being filmed using an EF mount lens. Let's take a look at some of the features, some of the updates in the Blackmagic 9.5 autofocus. How am I doing? Am I doing good? Bobbing and weaving? There are a couple of limitations, both technologically as far as installing this and the function of the autofocus. Let's first talk about the technical limitations of this update. It's only for the Blackmagic full frame cinema camera 6K. Unfortunately, it's not out for any of the pocket cameras, the 4K or 6K Pro. So the Blackmagic Cinema Camera 6K has always had a basic center autofocus. It's this button here. When you press that button, if you see your lens focus in the middle, or if you hear it move or try to catch focus, then you know you have a compatible lens. So to install it, what you wanna do is go to Blackmagic's website. You'll see the update. If not, go to the camera updates, look for the 9.5. Whether you're on OS or Windows, download your version to your desktop or wherever you download zip files to. Open up that zip folder and then run the program. That's going to install the camera update program onto your computer. So once you have the program downloaded to your computer, attach the Blackmagic camera to your computer via the USB-C cable and then open up that camera install program. Turn your camera on. It will recognize the camera. Download the update leave your camera on during the time that it's updating. Once it says it's finished, turn your camera off, back on again. You now have this update. Now let's get into the actual autofocus settings. Go into the camera's menu, go under setup. We're gonna see right here, 9.5, that's good. Go to the second page, autofocus type. You'll see it's in beta and I'm choosing PDAF, exit out of the screen. When I swipe to the right of the screen, I get my autofocus options. So once I swipe to the right, you'll see there are four options here. First one is autofocus singular. Second is autofocus continuous. This is object followed by facial recognition. Autofocus single is you just tap on the area that you want to focus onto. And where that's handy is if you want to do rack focus, if you want to check focus on your subject or object. Next is Object tracking, you're going to tap on an object. It will give a blue square around it when it's uh, locked on focus. Yellow means it's searching for focus and red means it's out of focus. This worked for me to a degree. So here's an example of the flowers and I'm just gonna do a pan and you can notice how it's keeping focus on those flowers as I'm panning left and right. I'm trying to keep a slow movement. There were times where it lost object tracking. I don't know if it has to do with there being enough contrast to capture it or if it's just part of the beta phase of this, but it wasn't perfect. Last but not least is the facial recognition focus. I'm going to try to record myself with the facial recognition. I'm going to walk into frame and hit record and see if it doesn't recognize my face. I'll do a little bit of movement since nothing else is moving. I'm using the Blackmagic Bluetooth app so that I can remotely start the recording on the camera. So I'm gonna walk right here. I'm gonna hit record. Now here's the problem is I don't know if it has me in focus or not, but where I wanna use it right now, it's not conducive because I wanna use it for something like this where I am in front of the camera. The problem with that is twofold. Number one, the monitor doesn't flip for me to be able to tap on the screen to lock focus on my face and also to follow and make sure that it is following me as I move around. So overall, it's very hit or miss with the facial focus. For recording yourself, it's not really ideal. You would need someone behind the camera to go in and select the face while it's in frame and then record yourself. I understand that's how these cameras work, but you have a screen that doesn't flip out for you to do that where I think this is going to be most helpful is if you're behind the camera. And that's once again, one of the reasons why you would buy this camera is you're going to be behind it. I rarely use this to record myself because of the focus issue. I think if you were doing an interview or if you're doing a run and gun video talking to somebody, you could use that focus feature. Keep in mind, it's 
it's not perfect. It does go out of focus sometimes. It has a hard time recognizing the faces. What gives me a little bit of optimism is it is something Black Magic is working on. I know that this will be updated and be improved. And I think it's great that they're at least offering that. It doesn't mean that the camera is only autofocus now. No, it's just an option that if you want to use it, you can. It's not changing the quality of the camera. It's not taking away any of the features that the camera already has. Is it going to beat out the Sony or the Canon as of now? Absolutely not. Uh, as far as that smart tracking, but it's a step in the right direction. And I also want to add, I think it's admirable that they added this as a upgrade instead of making you buy a new camera. That's something I admire with Blackmagic, among the other things that they do, that they made that as an update. To my pocket friends, I'm sorry. Um, I know it would be nice to have that update for those cameras. Maybe it's something they would do in the future. Once again, I have a feeling it has to do with the firmware and the limitation of being able to add that firmware to those cameras. That's just speculation on my part. If you're shooting on the Blackmagic Cinema camera, have you tried this update yet? What are your thoughts on it? Uh, is there something that I missed, especially with the continuous focus? I'd love to know more about that because I haven't gotten it to work yet, but it could be a quirk with the beta, uh, you know, with the program being in, in beta. So let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. Take care of yourself. Take care of each other. Thank you.